Hi everyone, so good to see you. Thought I'd just uh, check in with you all after the second of our vision messages on Sunday. Uh, Pastor John brought us the second message called Overcoming Fear. You know, this year we want to be setting sail. Our vision is to set sail, to, to let the wind of the Spirit fill our sails and, and push us along. And we talked about crossing over to the other side, going to those people that we maybe don't know or that make us feel uncomfortable, those places where we're out of our comfort zone. So this message last Sunday was all about overcoming fear. And I think like, like the disciples, it can be full of fear to go out of our comfort zone, to go somewhere that we're not familiar. You know, we can get used to what God does in our lives where we're comfortable, but will God be the same when we get to places where we're uncomfortable? And uh, as John told that story out of Mark and Matthew's Gospels, he talked about the moment where Jesus uh, lifted Peter up out of the water as he was sinking. He said, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. And they're three beautiful statements which I think encourage us as we set our sights on the vision that God's put before us as a church. And so as we remember those things that, that Jesus says, I'm with you so you can be uh, full of courage. You don't need to be waiting for fear to go, but in the midst of your fear, you can have courage. We don't need to be afraid. I think we can hold on to those three statements. And so my question for you this week as you reflect on what Pastor John's been talking about is what is Jesus's words to us? Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. What do they mean to us? How do they challenge us when we look at the fears that we carry in our lives as we wrestle with responding to God's leading? So as you look at the vision, as you look at the opportunities God puts in front of us to cross to the other side, led by His Spirit, how do Jesus' words challenge the fear that we might be holding on to?